Hello everyone, welcome back. We're back again. We're going to be watching Lost here. Kimmy, Jacob, <laughs> Tom, and Storm here. Jacob! Yes! I don't see a Jacob. He's there. Believe Jacob, did you me. shave? <laughs> Are you a happy person or a very is, angry person? Is Locke alive? Can you save him? Yeah, we have problems because we have a lot of lights on us right now, so he's going to be very pissed off, he's, I think. Help me! <laughs> help me! Earthquake! <laughs> What's going on? So, we are excited to get into this episode of Lost. We're getting towards the end of this season, so we know Mayhem is going to... Yeah, it's going to ramp up. Yes, it's going to get really crazy, and Locke, I don't think, is going to die. I hope not, and I think the island's going to save him. Me, uh, me too. I think that too. At least, at the very least, enough to go back to the to Ben's camp and tell him, tell them something. Tell, tell him that he's a fraud. He's a fraud. He didn't. He wasn't born on the he's island. Something. Mm -hmm. You know, it was interesting too when Locke punched out uh, Mikal. I know his name is. Uh, I want to say Mikal, but I think it's Mikal. It's Mikal. Mikal. Like Mikal's Mikhail. Navy. Yeah, and yeah, that would make sense, Mikal. And when he just punched him out and no one interfered at all and just kind of, they stood up slowly, it's right? Ben, yeah. And they're waiting for Ben to size up and be like, well, this is how it is. This is how it is. Maybe it's always been like that or something, but he hasn't been challenged the whole time he's been in charge or something. That's right. You know, and going back to, to Ben and being, you know, the stepping stone of, you know, not being the head of the others, but, you know, right under Jacob, for him to, you know, do that plan with Richard and to, you know, trust Richard. I mean, look, they annihilated the entire Dharma initiative, except for Ben. Like what did, Ben must have really trusted him. Because he could have just easily have taken over Ben too and just taken over everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he didn't know. Okay. He really didn't know, you know, the others. He didn't know the the hostiles. You know, he was just doing what Richard and he planned. But but honestly, too, um, that was when he was a boy when he met Richard, and right. then this is when he maybe was an they, adult. Yeah, so, so they maybe they had really a had a relationship to think about it, and you know. Mm -hmm. hone in on what they wanted to do and do it together yeah so there's so a lot of true. time missed that we didn't see mm -hmm. that you know there's a lot that we of course yeah, still don't he understand, was definitely but... ready to kill his father he was yeah there's like no I mean, batting an eye i can understand but that's still so sad you know and especially like the dad at the end i mean he was really terrible to his son anyways but to like kind of sort of apologize like that's the best he's done he's since like, well if you really ever <laughs> and then he's like oh now you're gonna die it's too late <laughs> it's terrible <laughs> So yeah. shall we get into this episode? Let's do it. Yeah. Watch it on Amazon 321. Oh, is that the boyfriend? We kept the uh oh, like vision. Uh oh, he's uh, having something. One of your flashes again, didn't you? I hate these episodes. Right? Charlie, I didn't. Danielle. Oh, she sounds. She looks happy to help. Sure. By the way, how's that tree? Hey, that was a pretty tree. That tree was evil. And for the past few days, she's been bringing dynamite back from the Black Rock. Uh. For the very first time, we know exactly what they want. Because when they show up, we're going to blow them all to hell. <laughs> oh, I like to see Jack like that now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, hell. Charlie. Why are we even doing this? Chin up, mate. So let's just get on with it, shall we? The guys can get out of the van. Yeah. You're from Manchester then? I am. My band got to start at the night and day bar on Oldham Street. <laughs> what band? A week or drive shaft. The greatest hits thing. Oh. Uh oh. Hey. I know, I'd be so paranoid something. too. You're not really dead, right? Don't say that. <laughs> not yet. That's so terrifying. They didn't have everyone with them when they discussed this, so hopefully everyone's on the same page. <laughs> yeah, right. When we supposed to come early. Yeah. looking Yes, but it's underwater. I have no idea where it is. <laughs> it's a good place. I'm going to protect Aaron. I promise. Everything is going to be fine. You're going to get blown up, aren't you? Hmm, hope not. They're so cute together. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to tell me what you saw this morning? 
Claire and her baby get into a helicopter. A helicopter that leaves this island. We're getting bloody rescued. I thought you were going to tell me I was going to die again. No, I said them. You didn't say your name. You do die, Darren. There won't be any rescue. Jeez. Oh, of course. He has to say. This time you have to die. God. Don't be daft, jump in! It's gonna be daft. There's nothing to be afraid of, Charlie. I'll catch you. I promise. I did it! Aww. Uh -huh. You've got it! Aww. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know. <sighs> the arrow to inside a hatch. And then you drown. Anyway, so I, wonder if, I wonder if he's unjamming the signal. Oh, oh maybe, and that yeah. looking glass. I wonder if Desmond's just doing reverse psychology on him. I don't know. Charlie, you don't even know what we're talking about. I was junior swim champion in Northern England. I hold my breath for four minutes. I know exactly what you're talking about, Jack. It's not going to hold. Ah, uh, we're just talking about that. Okay. Right back to bickering. Watch and learn, dear. <laughs> <laughs> that was great that we just talked mm -hmm. about, though. Yeah, why didn't you say anything yet? Besides the obvious, but. The baby's bald. <laughs> <laughs> Tackle, but wait, wait. No, they're coming tonight. Tonight. They switched it up. Good thing he came. Okay, so that can <laughs> switch up the explosives. When did you get back? <sighs> Just now. Here's your bunny. Where's Locke? Here's your gun. There you go. Here's your gun back. <gasps> oh. Look at what happened out there. Good job. So John know. had an accident. If you know what I mean, wink, wink. Brian? <laughs> yes, sir. If she hasn't had time, then we'll take all look. their women. And we'll sort out the ones we need later. Oh, holy crap. Yeah. She's going to go warn. I thought you were bringing rabbit. You have to go. Now. Ah, oh, so what? this is what happened. Did he find out I was out here? No. You owe them. Oh, wow. Girl. Better take this. Mm. Your fake father. Go. Is that everything? Yeah. You trust him? You don't trust me? What about her? She's a spy. Targeted from my positions at the tree line. Mm. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> uh, here you go. Is that you, Sir? Charlie. Still up for a swim. Mm. Oh. Oh, there ah. it goes. a good night. It's here, baby brother. Christmas is here. <laughs> Father Christmas lives just down the street from here. Father Christmas lives in Helsinki. Indeed, he does. I oh, drive hey, shaft no, ring. Mom gave you that. You're the first born. It was her father's and his father uh, before that. Mom would have wanted it this way. Pass it on to your little one someday. You need to mm. you know it's safe. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Happy Christmas, baby boy. Mm. He's making like a list. I, I don't like it. <laughs> it's nice, it's but. The most memorable moments. <sighs> You give him the ring. Mm. <laughs> so cheeks. Oh. I love you. Aww. See you soon. Be careful, child. That's not your song. <laughs> Well, that makes you even more of a hero, doesn't it? You are a hero, sir. Mm -hmm. And don't let anyone ever tell you differently. Oh. What's that? It's a weight belt. It should bring you down quicker than swimming. Well, every second counts. Flip it. Nothing to it. As long as you can see where you're going. So another one? <laughs> nope, you've made your point. Mm -hmm. Nothing's gonna happen to me, Ross. I hope not. I like you better since you got back, Jack. 
You're almost an optimist. You're going to be hiding in the bushes. This was my idea, and I'm perfectly capable of executing it. I know that. What are you more concerned with? It's time for you to act like one. Mm -hmm. I'm your advisor. <laughs> I'll say. As long as Nai Naomi's group is good, too. <laughs> we have to mm. hope that. <laughs> I'm sick of tracking and, you know, explosions. Oh, he wants to be with his best out. bud. He just want to say goodbye to him. Too big. Don't say it. Sound cool, man. Yeah. Just remember I love you, man. Yeah, whatever. I love you, too. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> This sucks. I really hope he doesn't die. <laughs> I know, this is bad. Pants are all marked. Where's that? That's how you find the third shooter. Oh, I saw it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he left it there for him. That's so sweet, but I wish he said oh, something to Claire. Ready? Ready as they'll ever be. What if you just cut the cable? Yeah, it probably needs a lot more than that. Do you want a blanket? Oh, thanks. I've got one. Were you warming for two? <laughs> First plane crash. One <laughs> gave it away. <laughs> Spot for <the> newbies. <laughs> <laughs> we sleep under the stars, and before you know it, the helicopters will come and take us all on. Oh, number one. <laughs> <laughs> Best moments of my sorry excuse for life. No. I'll go. Maybe I keep seeing you die because I'm supposed to take your place. Besides, I might be luckier than you. <laughs> I'll take it from here. I don't know. Really? He's gonna go. No way. <gasps> He's gonna yeah. knock him over. He's gonna do it. Oh my god. That's a good friend. That's a phenomenal know. friend. I'm supposed to take my place, brother. Brother. Oh my god, to be able to focus and sacrifice oh. yourself to do this. <sighs> like, this is just so sad. I hope his vision's altered. It's not true. Oh, it's right there. God, can you imagine holding your breath for that long? <laughs> Can't find the hatch? There it is. Wow. Wow. Okay, we made it. <gasps> oh no! Oh crap! Holy crap! There's people there! Don't shoot them. Or is this Naomi's group? Oh, come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh no! I don't think that was Naomi's group. No. Holy crap. I don't know whose group. I mean, they were clearly not the welcome wagon. Uh, Man. So, but he didn't die that way, but maybe it was destined to happen on the way back. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought he was supposed to flick the switch and then he was going to drown. So him mm -hmm. saying, I'm alive, I'm like, wait, no, you didn't even yeah, flick the switch yet. Yeah, you, you have to hit the hit switch it. first. That's right. So it still hasn't happened yet. Um, you know, he was very relieved there. I'm just worried about everything because, first of all, um, we saw the flashback of him struggling, you know, being nervous about swimming. His father helped him jump in. And then that first vision that Desmond had of um, Charlie dying or drowning, trying to save Claire, you know, that's what you were questioning. Well, maybe he can't swim as well as he said. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, well, if Desmond didn't say anything to Charlie to begin with, he wouldn't have volunteered to do this mission um, and I mean, maybe Jack would have gone to him eventually or gone to the group and been like, Hey, we need a good swimmer. And Charlie would have been like, I'm a good swimmer. So maybe that would have happened either way. Mm. Um, but I just always hope that if you can see visions, like in other shows that we watch, um, <laughs> that you could change it. So certain things don't happen. Right. Well, maybe, maybe Desmond didn't exactly see a vision, but he used it as an excuse to get Charlie to volunteer for something like this. Yeah. You know, to do something that not too many other people could probably do. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I don't know. I thought he he did see the vision. He, he knew this was going to be his demise. If it wasn't altered, this is how he's going to go. And for Desmond to follow through with that, follow him, you know, go out there with him and to 
to help him by taking his place. That's monumental. Well, to that, that's what gets me curious is because, you know, earlier in the episode, he was saying that, Charlie, you have to die in order for this to happen. And then at the last minute, he's saying, I can take your place. He's like, well, how come that wasn't an option before? Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe you know? he felt bad that, you know, he didn't, maybe he's losing hope that he's never going to see Penny and he sees what he has with Claire, you know, Charlie, he sees what Charlie has with Claire and the baby. And he's like, you know what? The writing's on the wall. I'm going to take his place. Maybe it was a afterthought after he said he was going to go with him, you know? You know uh, I mean, they're both good people and even Desmond willing to take his place. I mean, they're so sure that whoever's going in, it's a one-way trip. And it seems hopeless like that, but especially having that vision, it makes it even more so. And it, again, worries me that I think Charlie will give up after he does flip the switch and tries to get out of there, that he just accepts his fate kind of thing instead of really just trying to survive. So I am very worried. Um, I'm also thinking, because Desmond has these visions, like, is that really set in stone? Um, Meaning that, is it always the right decision because the island is showing you this way to go about it? I mean, he doesn't see alternatives like, oh, you, we can do it this way and you're going to die. But if we do it this way, you're not, or this way. It seems like sometimes Desmond, he said that the helicopter won't happen unless you die. I mean, how do you know? Because you only see one vision and it's only of Charlie dying. And it, so yes. someone else could be a better swimmer, but we won't know because with a huge group of survivors they still have there, you know, Jack could be like, hey, we need swimmers, any volunteers, you know, and maybe Charlie wasn't the best swimmer out there. Maybe well, I also else. think that Charlie might have a, a, a renewed sense of, uh, you know, living because he, you know, he wasn't expecting the, to find air in the, in that yes. place. Yes, and he thought you know, he was so, yeah. Yeah, he's like, oh my God, I'm alive. You know, he thought he was just going to swim up there, flick a switch, and that would be it. Right. But he has he has air now. I mean, he's got guns in his face. So, I mean, that's a little different. But mm-hmm. uh, I think at first he felt a, you know, a renewed sense of, uh, I could actually maybe do this. So maybe he does have, or maybe he will get um, a sense of, I can do this. Yeah. And him also writing down everything, too. Like, he's trying to remember all these really important things in his life. And, mm-hmm. you the know, most so important things, you know, in his memories, his favorite memories. Yeah, and him telling Desmond, like, what do you say about my pathetic life or something? It was really sad mm-hmm. when he said that. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's almost crazy. like he's still trying to relive, like, good moments that he did actually cherish and remember. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like how he gave the ring to the baby but I really wish that he told Claire about that you know so I I know it was probably like a but he knows that they're going to invade the camp too so I was going to say he wanted Claire to find it later but things are going to get blown up all mayhem's going to break loose most likely you won't be able to find the ring there after that right and and on top of it he says well don't I don't want you to worry when I'm gone so if he told her about the story about the ring She's going to worry because then she knows Desmond's involved. She's going to put two and two together and say, oh, this is how you're going to go. You know, honestly, is no. if he's well, he, he, sorry, he could have he could have done the ring where like he could have given given her the ring oh, can you hold and on been like, this is a this is a family heirloom. Can you please hold on to it for me? And I'll get it when I get back. Exactly. Because if you're going yeah. swimming, you usually don't wear jewelry right. anyway. So I think that wouldn't have been a problem. Yeah. You know? So I really wish said it that way. Yeah. I really wish she just put it that way, you know, instead of doing that. But anyways, I hope she does find the ring. I hope he survives. I don't know. I mean, I still think he has to flip the switch and then he's going to die. But, I mean, they built it up so much here. And it's good to see them reflect and appreciate what their life is about. But um, I feel like it's almost set in stone now, even though Desmond keeps saying it. Like, he has altered the past before. So, um, but I feel like it's definitely going to happen this time. Yeah. And his visions as you know, as we learned from when Naomi landed on the island, the pieces of the puzzle weren't perfectly brought to him consensually, like, um, in consecutive order. So he was getting bits and pieces of his visions. He didn't know when, you know, Charlie's demise with the arrow was going to happen, but he's, so he saw pieces, but he didn't know the exact story of that previous, you know, demise of him dying, you know, with the arrow. But 
like this, he could say, yeah, you, you know, you are going to drown, you know, after you press the button, after you do flip the switch on, but he didn't, maybe he didn't see this vision as well with these people. I mean, if he had, he would have probably went with him, you mm. know, and, and been prepared, but, um, you know, maybe just bits and pieces of how yeah, he's going to see, die this time. Gaps. But I thought he said something about too that like you're gonna go inside and you're gonna flick a switch. And maybe it was just me. Yeah, it just seemed like it. he was gonna be all underwater, like this is already gonna be filled with water with this the pool. Well, because they right? said it was flooded. They they right. said that it was flooded and it, and remember when um when they saw um Mikhail the first time they told him that he lost communi- he lost contact with the communication tower or the communication uh, uh, place, mm-hmm. which is, I'm assuming is this place that he's talking about. Um, so he, they probably did think it was flooded, but it, it apparently is not. Mm-hmm. So who so, are the people there? Oh, I thought, yeah, exactly. I thought Jack's place was going, they're going to the communications tower. They're going to the communication tower, but Mikhail was sending a signal to the mainland. So it was going yes. to like a relay center, which I'm assuming is the looking glass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's what I'm thinking. And it but looks he like said it's that, set up for a submarine to come up. Right. Yes. But he, he was saying that they lost contact with them. So it would make sense to, to theorize that it's flooded, you know, that, there, right. it, that it's not, you know, operational like that anymore. Right. Or the structure's just there. And whatever, when Desmond pressed the button, when he did his thing, when everything was lost maybe that's all that happened but there were still people there so maybe those are part of the group of the others group i see i don't think mikhail was part of the group i think he had an understanding with the group the others Mm -hmm. because that's why they kind of kept him separated from everybody Mm -hmm. else Mm -hmm. as long as they worked for him though he still worked for ben yeah he still but they had some kind of understanding with yeah yeah I kind of think that maybe there are others there. Or maybe they are Naomi's people in that underground base or whatever, like the hub there. I don't know. Either way, they didn't look very friendly. They weren't very happy to see him. They, You know, they didn't shoot right away, though. I think if there was an intruder, they would have just killed someone. Yeah. So I'm kind of thinking that, you know, them just kind of hesitant. I think they were caught off guard seeing someone yeah, there. Yeah, big time. Like, who would have even thought of having come, someone come up there? So they're probably... Yeah, so either shocked. way, they might not be bad, you know, just yeah. they're uh, both women, defending right? it. Yeah, they're, they're just mm-hmm. defending it because they are there and maybe... I mean, either way, they weren't expecting someone else there. So mm-hmm. if they were... Evil they were like, or Ooh, mean. I, think man. They, I think they would have shot him and killed him right away. So them not killing him gives me some hope that yes. they're just more like, who are you? you right. Know? Almost like when Desmond met, you know, our guys, you know, he was, had him at gunpoint saying, you know, he was like, who the heck are you? How'd mm-hmm. you get in here? We saw them yeah, really quick. Expecting... Mm-hmm. Yeah, we saw them really quick. So I don't know if we're supposed to recognize them from something else. So watch them be new people from flashbacks we saw a while ago or something. And they ended up <laughs> lost on this island and found that signal. Well, you know what, too? I mean, her helicopter crashed, you know, out in the water. So maybe they were looking for that, that relay center. Yeah, I mean, maybe they were sending out So a maybe it is possible that it is part mm-hmm. of Naomi's group where they got in there, then the helicopter crashed. So, yeah, I maybe mean, there's only yeah. a couple people in that helicopter. Just well, because we don't, the they didn't tell us why Naomi was out there for, right? I mean, because she wasn't looking for the people because they, they were already dead, so to speak. Right, they haven't really drilled her, right? They really haven't questioned her. And they didn't really and say what her what, mission was. And, Desmond, you, you didn't even see Desmond talking to her and like, how did you know my name? What's going on? You know, why are you, you know, why do you have a picture of me and Penny? You know what well, I mean? He, I think he did ask that, but I forget what her answer was. Yeah, she, I think he did show Maybe that, right? And then she party? said, yeah, like we were hired by her or something like that to go look, right? Or like yeah. part of her okay, party. Okay, so, all right. Because I was going to say, the... <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot about that. Mm-hmm. Because um, when the helicopter crashed, it was pretty far off. And yeah. this, you know, station is pretty far off the shore, too. So maybe that was their only place. Like, they just, it's around the signal, you know, and uh, the helicopter, like, that's why it was hovering there. And um, it just crashed right around it. And then that was the only way they could, you know, save themselves because they were too far offshore to swim or something. 
Mm. Or they just knew to go there because they were like, okay, the signal's here, the helicopter crashes, maybe they were dropped down. Maybe they were already in there there. when the helicopter crashed. Exactly, like you were saying before. Mm. So Interested, but... (sighs) Well, Charlie didn't die. That's a good thing. (laughs) Didn't die. Didn't die in this episode. Watch him, like, actually survive that, and then right when he gets out of the water, he's going to die another way or something crazy. What what if instead of him dying, what if he gets trapped in there and he can't get out and Desmond thinks he died and just kind of goes back to shore? Oh, God. Follow the cable. Follow the cable back. (laughs) Follow the cable. The the cable's on the floor. It was kind of hard to, (laughs) you know, see it maybe. Yeah, he can get it. Because because it's it'll... attached to the base, so hopefully, yeah. Either... Yeah, where at the base? <laughs> yeah, because they're so far offshore. Like if he follows the cable, I don't think you know he can make it back. I don't know. That would just suck. That you're right. That like, how would you know? And that's what also sucks about his visions. Because that is very true, right? Because they're just choppy. They don't. They're not a complete. And then you story. just believe it, and you just go, okay. So well, yeah, Desmond's knocked out, so he didn't get to see you know anything. And how long he doesn't he's know been how gone. long is? Yeah, exactly. And he won't know he about He doesn't know signal. that he's sucking air right now and inside the place. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. Well, until it's next time. Mm. Woo! Man. And then this episode was called The Greatest Hits or Greatest Hits. Yeah. And of course, we didn't hear anything about Locke in this episode, so we don't know what's going right. on with him. I'm still alive! I'm in this <laughs> mass grave. Hopefully he's rubbing some dirt in it right now. Just... <laughs> Mm-hmm. Come on, Island, work some magic. So I'm going back to the greatest hits thing really quick, but Naomi did say that, oh, yeah, um, when Charlie was asking about his band, that it's like on the greatest hits or something. So Oh, that a new yeah. album was released called The Greatest Hits. That's right. Yeah, so that's and really awesome. Smiling. So all these really nice things he's hearing now. and uh, Yeah, and she's heard of them, and they're from the same area, Manchester. Like, what a small world. Mm-hmm. All these connections, so very sad. Fingers crossed. We're hoping mm-hmm. he survives it. And Desmond is also a hero for wanting to take his place as well. They're he truly is. good friends. And we'll see you next time, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Please subscribe, and we'll see you very soon, as always. And don't Bye, flick guys. any blinking yellow switches. That's right. Bye. Bye. Unless you're saving everyone. Bye. <laughs> yeah.